uh, hi everyone so today we'll discuss about the environments in btp in btp we have four types of environments in btp we have so environments is kind of playgrounds playgrounds where all application so runtime survey all the applications the runtime applications and services will run on that environments here right so we have the four types of environments that is called the one is the cloud foundry cloud foundry and the second one is the abap environment for the abap development perspective right so abap development perspective and also like we have the schema schema environment so this is for the so this is for the so kubernetes and aws related html related applications so the third one fourth one is called the neo environment so neo environment is the first environment which is introduced by the sap after that only sap introduced the cloud foundry and subop environment and schema environment they have introduced it here okay so let's discuss about the some difference between the cloud foundry environment and neo environment here right so cloud foundry environment so cloud foundry let's discuss about the some more details about the cloud foundry environment that is called the cf environment cloud foundry environment so cloud foundry environment contains the it says a runtime cloud applications will run it contains the cloud foundry application runtime services and also which is based upon the open source application platform managed by the cloud foundry foundation open source platform and also the developers they can use the cloud foundry environment to enhance their sap products and also and also they can integrate their business applications as well as well as to develop and their new enterprise applications based upon the their business apis and everything they can use it here so there are the lot of advantages for the developers to use the cloud foundry environment here so this cloud foundry environment allows you to use there is a multi programming languages such as like java node js and also we can bring our own language options also we can bring it whereas in the neo we cannot bring our own language in the neo environment right so cloud foundry is mainly for the application runtime which is based upon the open source applications managed by the cloud foundry foundation here so in the cloud foundry that is the main advantages for the developers they can build their own languages application enhancement integrations many things are possible in the cloud foundry environment where has in the neo where has the neo so we can develop the means developers to develop the java developers to java develop the java so access html5 applications so they can develop it here so it contains only so it contains only sap proprietary runtime services from point three runtime services here it will run so neo is the rich set feature i mean to say i can say like it's kind of is a rich feature rich feature easy to use for the development also both we can use for the development but other than compared to the neo cloud foundry has some lot of advantages here so neo environments here normally we can use the virtual machines so that that will allow you to install and maintain our own applications in the scenario so that is not covered by the platform actually so virtual machine means we know right so hardware cpu ram disk space installed os that will be linked between the platform as a service right and also infrastructure as a service here right so that is the theme. and also here in the neo we cannot bring our own language here and also here it supports only sap data centers sap data center here so our own language is not supported and also it supports only on the sap data center and also it supports only java html and hana access so these are the these are the main features in the neo and the cloud foundry okay so let's give some details about the so cloud foundry and cloud foundry and cloud foundry and so neo environments here right so here so let me draft one diagram here so that you will get the 
so what is the, the major difference between the cloud foundry and uh, so neo here okay so here so cloud foundry so neo okay so cloud foundry so cloud foundry is the open source cloud foundry is the open source where has sap is the sap sap so proprietary so let me write it here okay so proprietary so here right and also it supports it supports it supports many languages supports supports it's kind of many so languages here it supports many languages here it supports many languages suppose like so including supports many languages including so java like node.js lava node.js java and node.js and so python python so etc it will support it here but here it here so here so it supports only java html5 it supports only so java so html5 and hana access related services so we can do that one hana access related services we can so do that one here so right here we can bring our own language here so here own language yeah so own language here we can bring own so language here own language we can build it here so here it supports own language is not supported own so language own language so it's not supported here okay own language not supported here so here so own language is not supported programming languages are supported by sap here java node.js so programming languages programming languages are not supported programming so languages for law programming languages supported by all the some programming languages are supported by sap here right so but java example java node.js those will be supported here here it will be so java html5 so hana access this will be supported by the sap here right so java so html5 so html5 and hana access hana access will be supported here right it supports it supports so it supports the multiple data center so in the cloud foundry it supports so multiple data centers aws azure and gcp here supports so multiple so data centers multiple data centers suppose example aws right so gcp and azure so gcp azure this will support it here this is only supports neo supports only sap so data centers here so these are the few differences between the cloud foundry and neo environment here so it is the open source it is only sap proprietary services it is the sap runtime services everything will run it here it supports many languages many languages including java node.js j support it supports only java node.js it won't support here we can bring our own language here we cannot bring our own language here the programming languages are supported by the java nodes and js here so here multiple data centers and everything here these are the so these are the so few differences between the so we can use it here here which cloud platform shall i use it here based upon the use case based upon the business node business need we can use our own environment which is suitable for environment so there are the some use cases for so cloud foundry and neo also here right so we can use it here 